Good morning. It's Midsummer's Day, 21st of June, the solstice. Happy times. The light. And the first person to mention that the nights are drawing in will get a waggly finger from me. Anyway, uh, I've got a three-day flower farm, uh, not flower farming, a three-day workshop coming up with uh, students coming to look at growing flowers organically, cutting flowers and conditioning flowers without using any chemicals and doing eco floristry. So we're gonna have really lovely three days. I have to say, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, as usual, the studio looks like a bomb hit it. So we're gonna have a quick tidy up. I thought you might like to come along with the process of planning and organizing workshops, because if you have a space and you have a skill, I think you may as well share it. Uh, for small businesses, it's a good way to make a living. And often, whatever your passion is, might translate very nicely into uh, an ability to teach that enthusiasm and those skills so that other people can enjoy your passion too. Uh, so we've got four people coming for three days and we're going to do um, kind of wedding, bridal bouquets and wedding party flowers today and look at cutting and conditioning and then tomorrow we're going to do tablescaping and pedestal vases. And Thursday we're going to do a big arch and some more, the big wow factor pieces. Uh, so it should be really, really fun. I thought you'd like to come along for the ride. Uh, but first, let's tidy up the studio, which has got the arch in pieces on the big table in the middle. Leftover water from yesterday it needs to be sloshed on the buckets outside. Flowers there to be delivered to somebody. The leftovers of the sewing of my biennials, which is a download you can order off my website because now is the time of year to sew your biennials. If you sew your biennials now, you've stolen a march on next spring and committed to growing flowers for another year. Anyway, let's talk workshops. First of all, I'm gonna tidy up. So I've got out the urns and I borrowed some of these lovely big frogs from uh, Floral Fabrications, who Nathan is a neighbour and uh, he makes amazing things. And I've got out all the bits and pieces that I think we're going to need. You never quite know with a workshop, because you don't know the students until they arrive. You don't know exactly what you're going to do. So it's good to be a little bit versatile. Down here in pieces, is the arch we're going to make on Thursday. We're definitely making the arch, but also worth having to hand in hot weather, look at that, um, is a pile of hats because it is going to be hot. And when you have students in your house, they're coming to learn, but they're also coming to have a nice time. So you've got to make sure that they're going to be comfortable and make sure they have the equipment to be comfortable. It's always worth having a health and safety protocol because then you are very clear about where the safety and the danger is when you're having a workshop. So today my lovely students made brides bouquets, bridesmaids posies and buttonholes. And while some of them had done this kind of work before, some of them hadn't, and some of them had cut flowers from gardens before, and some of them hadn't. And, but for everybody, there was a new experience and it's quite hard work making floristry in front, you feel as though you're sort of in front of an audience. What I liked, I really liked about what everybody said at the end of the day, was they said that they learned as much from, from looking at what their other students were doing as they did from doing it themselves. They all cut from the same garden and they all made very different bouquets. What they've done today really is just get their hands in and tomorrow they'll be more confident cutting from the garden and they'll be more confident with their floristry. So this is just the start really. Um, the first of my three day uh, eco flowers retreat. I must say, yeah, I must say, <laughs> I love, I love what they've done. I love this work. Uh, that's an Artemisia. Do we cut it like this or is it waiting to do? No, you can cut it there if you like. 
but it does your handful needs to get into water that's it skip along and it's important to remember to get the long dangly bits off the side of the house and ignore the fact that there are rubbish bins slightly ruining the view so it's the third day of our eco flowers workshop Yesterday, the students made these incredibly beautiful pedestal vase arrangements with a full Hogarthian curve sweeping from right to left. Very, very beautiful. And given that this is not work that my students have really done before, I have to say, I think they do a beautiful job. They're really, really lovely. You have to keep these very topped up with water because the stems are short and very easily come out. Um, very easily come out. Shall I show you my demo piece? That's one of my students. I love that. Very lovely. And because they're pedestals, they're just up off the table, so they're lighter. Here's the demo. That's a Woolerton Old Hall rose. And there you go. Right, back to today's job. Let's make some jam jar posies. Yes, please. More, Ami. Yes, please. So I think we might have enough. What do you think? I would have thought so. We've all the because we've got all the all the foliage, and then this is going to do the arch, and we've got all the leftovers from yesterday. So I think I would like a tiny bit of smoke bush. Okay, you go and get some smoke bush. You're happy with the smoke bush, right? I think that's enough. Well, oh, thank you very much. That's perfect. You might, I would use all of that. And what... It's really nice to see people having a lovely time in the sunshine. Look, all that material. They've got very fast at cutting this morning. And it's all coming together. I'll show you at the end. The young people to come in and do that. And it gets to the stage where you're really. They can be a bit. We are interested. Ready? So, it, just in case anybody's interested, <laughs> you're falling asleep. Um, I've made an ordinary hand tie, but I've not tied it up. And I'm just going to put it in the jug. It will hold itself really nicely in the jug. So there's the jug, and this will not blow over under any circumstances in a windy situation. And it just settles really nicely. And because it's held together, by, the stems are all held together, you can then turn it round to, to face whichever way you want. With jugs, I think it is important. And this is a weird, weird thing. I think it's very important that the spout points to the middle of the room. And I think it's a feng shui thing. <laughs> it, the energy is then going into the room, not running out of the walls. Obsessive compulsive weirdo. My spouts will always face inwards. From now if you look at my pictures at number one Bruton, the flowers are always to the left of the fireplace and always in a jug and the spout is always is pointing at the actually, fireplace. Yeah. And so this is what my lovely students have made over the past three days. This was an eco flowers retreat. So they were here to learn about floristry and learn about flowers, but also to have a lovely time. So if you're thinking about holding workshops, think about what you can teach, how to teach it. Don't overtire your students. People get full up and have to have a break, feed them well, make sure you've covered the health and safety and allow them to be really creative and they'll have a lovely time. So if you've enjoyed any of the tips and tricks I've given you in this video, please do buy me a coffee. The link is in the blurb to all my clips and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. Thanks for my thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. 
little addendum before I post this. There's one more thing you really must consider if you're going to hold workshops in your space or anywhere, and that's insurance. We have hefty public liability insurance. So talk to your insurers and check whether your place is insurable. Uh, it shouldn't be terribly expensive, but it's really worth doing. Okay, enjoy, have some workshops. It's a great way to earn a bit of extra money and who doesn't love to share skills?